I started to build uh, these frigates over here back when the pandemic started. I wanted a pirate ship, and so I built what I thought at the time was my ideal ship. It's a nice little 32-gun frigate. And then I showed it to that man over there. And I also had always wanted to build historically accurate ships. I loved historical ships since I was young. My father had a model of the uh, USS Constitution. Uh, so I built two blue frigates that were matching sister ships. Lovely, they're 36 gun ships. But then I wanted something to balance them. So I built two 14 gun and one 44 gun because 36 and 36 is 72, 14, 14, 44 is 72. We had balance. Then we both decided that frigates are lovely, but Ships of the line, warships, have the gravitas that we wanted. So he wanted to build a 50 gun ship. Lance was adamant he wanted a 50, but I haggled him up to a 74. So we both built 74 gun ships, which balances the fleets again. But then he went and built another 32. The temerity of this man and his warmongering. So he had another two 32s and we didn't have balance. So I built a 64 gun ship to balance his 32s, because that's how math works. Now, remember, he wanted to build that 50, and so he did go ahead and build the 50. I still didn't want to build a 50, so I built 104, just to escalate things. But then there wasn't balance, so I built a 54-gun ship of the line, so that we once again had balance. But it turns out this man can't count, or at least the French can't count, and his 50 actually had 58 guns. So I built three little gunboats with a total of eight guns and balance has been maintained. And now the most important thing, this is why I came up with Joshua Hedlin, he's a big expert, historian. You have to show us the minifigure of Nelson. Yes, so this, okay, this is a model of the HMS Victory. It's a 104 gun ship of the line and I do in fact have my little Lego representation of Admiral Lord Horatio Nelson. He's missing his arm and everything. He's about to get shot by some French sharpshooter. But this is his moment, his great moment in history where the British line broke the French line at, at Cape Trafalgar, had, had an absolutely one-sided slaughter of a victory and ended Napoleon's hope of really ever winning because if, if you cannot control the seas, you cannot defeat England. And this was the end of it, so... Okay, two last questions here. First of all, to, to, to Lance, yeah. what do you say to, to your defense here? To my defense? Um, <laughs> I wanted one ship. Uh, <laughs> this man kept building and we can't have unbalanced. And we, okay. we, we all win in the end, thanks yeah, to your exactly. competition. Well, yeah. <laughs> so, and Joshua Hanlon, what do you think of the Nelson minifig? Is it good? Yes, I think it's very historically accurate. You both did excellent research. I loved seeing all of the ships here. I think uh, even the interiors on the ships look fantastic. I've been through the HMS Victory over in England. I think it looks fantastic. I think it looks fantastic, so great work. Okay, so this is it. Briggs Cascade 2022. Goodbye! Goodbye! I get to go home!